you are viewing this video about optical discs in the channel, Learning Hub. So, please subscribe to our channel. In this video, we will see the working principle of optical discs. Don't you recognize them? One best example is CD. So, how do optical discs work? They reflect colors that make them attractive. They are so colorful. The first one which was in use is Laserdisc. It was introduced in the year 1978. If you compare it with a regular DVD then you can observe its size. They are so huge. The next one is the Compact Disc. It is commonly called a CD. It was introduced in the year 1982. They look like this. They are common in size. The next one is the DVD. It stands for a digital versatile disc. It was introduced in the year 1996. They were used a lot. There are many subtypes of them. One example is HD DVD. The next one is the Blu-ray disc. It was introduced in the year 2006. Let's observe the working of optical discs. Let's take one of the optical discs and magnify it to analyze. When we magnify it until a point then it looks like this. The surface is not even. There are peaks and valleys present. Let's observe them closely. The peaks contain the reflecting layer over them. When light from the laser is pointed over them, the light gets reflected. The reflected light is detected by the detector. In this case, the output is 1. When the light is incident on the valley, the light is not reflected. In this case, the output is 0. In this way, a laser is pointed on the rotating disk. the chain of binary numbers comes as output. This may be music, video, document, or another type of file. The disk capacity depends on the number of valleys and peaks. This varies from each type of disk. The CD has a capacity of 700 MB. The DVD has a capacity of 4.7 GB. The Blu-ray has a capacity of 25 GB. Due to the varying number of peaks and valleys in the different types of discs, the wavelength of light and speed of the rotation also varies. In CD the size of the valley that implies one bit is of 800 nanometers in size. The light of wavelength 780 nanometers is used to read the data in CD. In DVD the size of the valley that implies one bit is 400 nanometers in size. The light of wavelength 650 nanometers is used to read the data in DVD. In Blu-ray disc, the size of the valley that implies one bit is of 150 nanometers in size. The light of wavelength 405 nanometers is used to read the data in Blu-ray. How does rewriting data in optical discs work? It's for another video. Like and share this video. Subscribe to our channel. Click below to subscribe and visit our channel.